Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Quam Yasala, Call Hello Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Sai, Bahashim, Rachadash, that were honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Sai, to the best of their ability. Zachanan, Wa is coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying. And this is um, from BET News. It says descendants of James Madison's slaves fight for equal power of foundation overseeing his former plantation. The descendants accused the mostly white foundation board of a power grab. Okay. <laughs> now this may <laughs> this may not seem like much, but what's happening is is Esau Edom is more and more being seen as the man of perdition, the man of sin, you see? Matter of fact, let me get that real quick before I, I read off into this. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. And he reads, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And I always like to use the illustration, because I keep this picture up here, <laughs> most of these, these lessons, man. I keep this picture up here of this is who, because people think that this so-called white picture right here, of this so-called white guy right here, is God. You ask the average so-called Negro who this is, from babies to, to 80 year olds, 90 year olds, they're gonna tell you that this is God, or they're gonna tell you that this is the Son of God. And see, they have set themselves up to be seen as the most righteous people on the earth, but in reality, they've raped, robbed, and pillaged every damn thing and tore up the damn planet. This place is terrible, man, with them in rulership, man. But let's go back. So, let's get some of this. Descendants of slaves who toiled on President James Madison's sprawling 2,650-acre Mont, Mont Pelleher home in Virginia are accusing the estate's current majority white foundation board of violating a power-sharing agreement for the former plantation, New York Times reports. And, and, and it shouldn't be no damn sharing. It should be given to them. You see? But see, that's why we're, we're waiting on true reparations. We're waiting on the reparations from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And these people are going into chains, man. The same thing that they've done to us. The scripture says that the Lord is not mocked, man. That that, that, that a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Let's get that. They're going to pay for what they've done, man. They're not getting away with all that crap they pull against the children of Israel. Galatians 6 and 7. Let's just prove it. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And it also goes off into, it's not just, uh, 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 cause see Esau Edom, he's a man, but that man produced seed. And that seed today is the children of the so-called white race. And they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. They're not actually white, you see? So now let's prove that. Let's go to Job 34 and 29, I think it is here. Yep, it says, when he gives quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? So see, the Lord is in control of nations, of people. He brings them up, he takes them down, and he's in control of individual men in those nations. The Lord is in control of all things. So this nation of people, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, they're going to reap what they've sown, man. And it's starting to happen. You can you can clearly see it. Every time you look up, it's a brand new fresh story in the news showing the man of perdition, the man of sin, and how wicked they are and, and the atrocities that they have done to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. It's ongoing. It says last year, the foundation agreed to give equal authority on the foundation's board over the stewardship to the nonprofit, okay, the Senate's committee. The black committee members had expected to become co-equals in sharing governing power and responsibility for the very site 
that enslaved their ancestors. As Gene Hickok, the board chairman, promised in June 2021. Come on, man. Esau Edom don't keep no goddamn promises. They promised um, um, the Native Americans, the so-called Native Americans, all kinds of promises, man. And you see they broke all them. Yeah, man, these, these, the so-called white man is the biggest damn liar on the planet, man. They're not, they're not into <laughs> being um, <laughs> truthful, man. It, that, that's just, that's not one of their things, man. The scripture says, matter of fact, let me get this. Um, let's get that. Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. See? And, and this is Esau, Edom. That's the, the so-called white man. It's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Job 9 and 24, it goes off into explaining. Let's get Job 9 and 24 real quick. So we got to put Esau, Edom on blast, man. This is a part of the ministry. We have to, to pronounce judgment on Esau, Edom, his kingdom, man. The so-called white man. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You see? They're the ones that's running the planet. They're the ones that's putting sanctions on every damn body. They're the ones that's telling everybody to roll their damn sleeve up and put a mask on. And they're all over the globe. They're all in space and shit. They surfing. They all under all underwater with submarines. They all out on the waters with Navy ships. You see? Fighter jets all in the sky all day long. Spraying chemtrails and shit. They're in control of everything. The earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the main judge's face? I just showed you. Let's go back to the picture again. This guy right here. They gave you white Jesus. They know clearly well the scriptures describe the Lord as being a dark, melanated man. But who did they give you and covered the main judge's face? This is one of the main judges right here. Other than Yahweh, the father, the son is next. And they made themselves look like the father and the son and the angels. You see, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man got a lot to pay for, man. And I had to keep that picture up there all the time because a lot of these lessons that come out, we have to let our people know that our Lord is not some so-called white man. Straight up, man. Okay, it says, at the time, the agreement was held as a groundbreaking power sharing deal that could serve as a model for other historic sites where black people were once enslaved. But now the descendants group says the foundation has done just the opposite. What, what were you expecting? I, I, you see, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the, the scripture says never trust thy enemy. Let me get that real quick. You can't trust these people, man. You a damn fool trusting the same people that put your ass in slavery, man. These people are no different. They, they even worse today than they was back then, more likely. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach, never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself, what did they do? They went and humbled themselves and say, hey, you know, we know we've done you wrong. And we're going to do this, 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 and this. <laughs> it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, take, yet take good heed. That's a commandment from the Lord. To take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Which means he's going to show those colors, man. He's going to be who he was designed to be. The wicked that the Bible speaks of. You can't trust these people, man. Let's go back. Let's get some more. It says, um, in, the, in the Foundation's March 27th statement, Hickok said, Currently, there are five descendants of enslaved persons on the 16-member board. Three are named by the MDC, and two are named by the foundation. We are working towards a board makeup that is 50% from the descendants community that is very much on track, despite earlier misinformation and inaccurate reporting. See, it shouldn't even be none of them. They should just, hey, you know what? <laughs> we owe you that with interest. Here you go. You still want 50%. You owe that shit with interest and more interest. You can't even return, and especially the lies of the people that were hung, castrated, killed, raped, all kinds of crap, man. The psychological damage that you've done on the people, <laughs> you see, and Esau still won't fucking have, man. And then when it comes to the half, they still won't give up the half. 
telling you, man. That's why we need true justice, and true justice is gonna come from you. How about Shimia was shy, man? Let me see. It says the descendants committee chair, James French, accused the foundation of a power grab, giving itself the power to select which descendants will help will help manage the estate. And you know they're gonna get the, the most uh uh coonish of coons to, to, to fill that position. He says he called the move by definition racist. The Times quoted French, who was also a foundation board member. It was merely a power grab, and they're trying to maintain and get credit in the headlines for sharing power when they never intended to share power. I told you, never trust thine enemy. That's so very important. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that is a commandment from the Lord to not trust your enemies. That's a commandment. He said never, not, not sometimes. No, nah, man, you, you're never to trust these people, man. These wicked, they're the wicked. They're, they're, they're going to do what they are, are, are designed to do, man. They don't have the spirit of righteousness, man. It says, he added, we're just hearing all of the gaslighting and the delays. Week after week, month after one month. And in the meantime, the world still thinks they've accepted structural parity, which they haven't. Come on, man. Let's see how much more of it it is. NPR reports that the relationship went bad from the from bad to worse when the foundation recently fired three senior staff members who supported the black descendants community. OK, the foundation has said the terminations were related to repeated and disruptive violations of our employment policies. However, the foundation's actions have caught the attention of National Trust for Historic Preservation, which owns the property. The National Trust has been working to achieve a resolution to the very public dispute between the foundation and the descendants committee. But these and other recent actions by the foundation led us to question whether a res resolution is possible under the current leadership, the trust said in a statement. OK, it says the time reports that the foundation on Wednesday, April 20th, said it would accept nine new board candidates from the descendants committee in an apparent attempt to broker an agreement. The new board members would all be seated by October. So there you have it, man. But now let's get another one because I wanted to get this um, by the spirit. Let's get Psalms 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And see, they're starting to tell on each other. New York Times reporting on it. Um, BET, you, you know, because... The so-called white man owned most of these news outlets, the newspapers, but they're actually starting to tell on themselves. That is an end time prophecy that they're actually going to tell on each other, on themselves, man, that they've done all kinds of atrocities. Now they're trying to somewhat make up for it. But let's let's get let's get how they're really going to make up for it. Let's get what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said about what they're going to have to do. This is their, this is what's going down for them. Revelation 13, 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what we're patiently and, and faithfully waiting on. That's real true reparations. And it's going to go down. See, the so-called, the average so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, they have Stockholm Syndrome so bad, they love the very people that oppress the shit out of them. And they can't see this being done to these people. They're going into captivity because the Lord said they're going into captivity. And his word shall not return to him void, man. It may not seem real right now. It may seem, oh, that's impossible because they're in power. And, and, and they're proud, too. You know, yeah, they got this big military. We don't have shit. We don't have nothing. We don't have no... Um, weapons manufacturers buildings and we don't have no standard military we don't have anything all we have is but what we do have is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and he's gonna fight for us and these people are going into slavery when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes man that this is this is their future this is their future right here he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And again, I'm telling you, I'm patiently, faithfully waiting on this to happen, man. And, and, and I know that it's going to happen. I have complete faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that his word will not return to him void. It's going to happen just like how he said it, man. It's, it, 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 it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. 
It's, th it's time to start thinking like rulers and kings, man, that we are. Because this slavery is bought up. This little punishment that we've been under for the past half millennial is bought up, man. You see? So now, let me get, um, let's go to Isaiah. So I want to get that as well. Because, see, you got these people out here that's talking about, um, you know, these so-called white people that's talking about they had nothing to do with slavery. Oh, well, you know, this is 2020, 21, 22. We had nothing to do with slavery. We, we didn't own slaves. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see still what's going down for you. Let's see what the Lord has to say about it. Isaiah 14 and 21. And it reads, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. See? That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Look at these terrible ass concrete jungles they done built up. That's just horrible. Horrible on the air quality. The water quality is terrible. Food quality, terrible. You see? The animals are all displaced because they done cut down all the goddamn trees and woods. These people are destructive as hell, man. They don't, they, they, they're not capable of ruling. And that's why when our Lord comes, we're going to rule a righteous kingdom, man. All this shit, all, all this, what, what you see, it's not going to be no more. The so-called white man will never be in power. Only thing they're going to be in power of is, 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 is working in some fields, man. And picking, um, picking down fruits and vegetables, cotton and whatever else we need. That's the only thing that they're going to be in control of. You see, <laughs> they're going in the sl and you there and the heathens, the heathen nations as well. They're going to get their portion, too, because they have had their hand. None of these nations, all these nations got 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 something in on, on, on the, um, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. They're in our neighborhoods right now selling us all kinds of bullshit. You see, but see this right here is a perfect example of the, of, of the man of sin being revealed. They're being told on. People are starting to actually see, okay, now hold up, man. God damn. Every other story is about the so-called white man fucking somebody over. Everybody is starting to see it. You see? So just wanted to just touch on this, man. Hey, look, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. We're about out of here, man. We're never, we're never going to be ruled over by no, no, no foolish-ass people that's running this kingdom right here, man. These people don't even, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This place is all upside down. Nothing righteous about it. So repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Those are the true names of the Father and the Son. And it's high time to awake out of sleep because we're in the last days. Because one of those prophecies is that they will be told on, that we will find out who the man of perdition and the man of sin is. And that is starting to happen more and more and more. You see? So... Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, side with that. Kwam Yashallah.